Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Final Fantasy series. Um, in this episode I'll be going through a little bit about how abilities work in Final Fantasy and I'll just be doing like a general ramble, I'll be doing a bit of a grind. So all, all I'm going to do, and it, 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 this is how I sort of handle levelling up in Final Fantasy, because sometimes with the Final Fantasy they, they can become a bit sort of... Um, like you're under leveled and you have to grind out a bunch of monsters. I tend not to grind XP for levels. I, I find that comes naturally. What I like to do is grind ability points for abilities and just make sure that all my characters know as much as they can at any given point in the game. And how that works is uh, a little bit strange. So, um, you learn abilities from items. So, for example, um, if Zidane had his dagger equipped, he would be doing um, 12 less damage. I don't know if you see my mouse, but he's currently doing 14. He'd be doing 12 less damage. So weapons and other other items of clothing all provide, you know, stat benefits. But they also teach you abilities. Um, in this instance, uh, dagger teaches you flee. Um, and you have at the moment, I'm at 4 out of 40. What that means is I have got 4 AP ability points um, out of the 40 needed to learn this ability completely and then I can equip a different weapon that doesn't teach me flee and I will still know flee, okay? So I'm 4 AP towards the 40 AP needed to completely learn that ability and never have to, no, I never unlearn it after that, okay? Um, in this instance, though, I have a different weapon equipped. I have the Mage Masher equipped because A, it does more damage, it does the 14 damage, but B, it also, as well as teaching Flee, it teaches Detect at the same time. So I'm sort of multi dual purposing with it, you know? Um, generally speaking, when it comes to earning ability points, um, you earn about one ability point per enemy defeated. So if you come up, ag up against a group of two enemies, you're going to get two ability points. If you come up against a group of three enemies, you're going to get three ability points. Roughly that. If you kill a group of three enemies and they give you three ability points, okay, every character will get three ability points for every single thing they're learning, okay? So, for example, right now Zidane is learning um, Detect and Flee from the Mage Masher. If I flip over to Steiner, he is learning Beast Killer from his Broadsword, yeah? If I were to kill a group of three enemies and get three AP, this would go up to seven, this would go up to seven, and this would go up. This would go up to six because it would be plus three. Uh, yeah, as would anything else that I'm learning at the time because that's how it works. Um, you earn all the ability. It's not like experience where it's divided equally amongst party members. Everyone gets those ability points. Um, so that's how I grind. That's how I grind out enemies because I just say, "Oh, I need to learn detect and flee." Also important to note is that bosses, boss monsters, don't provide experience, but they do normally provide a hefty chunk of AP. So um, I think the boss coming up at the end of this area gives me about 10 to 15 AP. So it's, he's like equivalent to that many sort of random monsters. So that can be pretty significant when you're calculating oh, how many things do I need to kill to earn um, the, the level, the uh, ability um, that I'm learning at the moment. Okay, now what type of abilities we learn. These red ones that say A are active abilities, I think, yep, they are active abilities. So when I learn these complete, well, I can use them now, even though I haven't learned them completely, because I've got the weapon equipped. But when I learn them completely, I'll be able to de-equip the weapon and use something else and still know them but what what these do that they're, they're active abilities so I can go ahead and use them in battle so flee is the ability to flee is the ability to run away from battle um, this ability detect detects I think it detects what how many items they've got remain or it detects a weakness of the enemy I'm not sure I don't really use it much but they're they're active abilities if we go to Vivi we'll see that his fire ability is an active, because obviously it's an active uh, magic ability that you use in combat. Uh, if we go to something like this, Flea Gill, this is a skill, and it's slightly different. And these are the only two different types of abilities there are, actives and skills. Um, 
skills are passives that enhance your character in some way um, and they have to be further equipped so I'll show you if I go out to the ability screen go to Zidane you'll see here um, under use um, I've got the abilities that you can actively go out and use. Obviously, I can't use them now out of combat because they're in combat abilities only. However, certain abilities like the White Mage's Cure can be used out of combat to cure people. If I go to Equip, we'll see that I've got a bunch of abilities that have... Oh, I'll move my mouse out of the way. We've got a bunch of abilities that have appeared. We've got um, Protect Girls and Flee. Um, and it shows you up here in the top... Uh, top right what item of clothing is teaching you it so my my jacket is protecting me protect girls and the wrist is protect is uh, teaching me flee gill and if you bring up help um, it tells you what they do so if there's ever a girl in the party Zidane will literally jump in front of her and tank the damage if uh, if you do run away from battle you still get the gill gill is the currency in the game the money however these aren't equipped. Even even when they're fully learnt, they don't become magically equipped. You have to activate them with these, the magical stones. So you'll see here, this has a cost of four, this has a cost of three. Um, I have to manually equip them, and then it consumes the magic stones. The more you level up, the more stones you get, and then by extension of that, the more abilities you can equip. Um, but at the moment, you're fairly limited in what you can learn and what you can equip. Um, so with that in mind, I'm just going to quickly go through what everyone is wearing first. Um, and then choose what they're going to learn. So, for example, with this Zidane... Um, take a quick drink. With Zidane, he's currently learning Flee and Detect from the Mage Masher uh, at the same time. It's strictly better than Dagger. It does two points more attack and teaches him more things so that can stay for his headgear um leather hat um you can see i've got two more leather hats in my inventory but no other type of um, headwear so that will just stay even though he can't learn the fire from it there's nothing else for him to equip and if i were to take it off him it would um it would negatively affect his stat line it would reduce his magic defense so i'll keep it on him for now you also notice that you know i've got two of them two of them in my inventory all of the clothes are sort of shared between the party, so, so, you know, Vivi also wears leather hats. So, if I only had one leather hat, I would take it off of Zidane and put it on Vivi, because he can learn the fire from it, but I've got more than enough to go around. Um, with the wrist, I have a couple of options. Um, I can leave this on and learn Flea Gill, but this is, uh, but nothing else is teaching me Flea Gill. Or I can change it to Leather Wrist and learn Beast Killer. Notice the leather wrist is also, stat-wise, it's better. Um, what I like to do, uh, what I tend to do, is leave the lowest, um, leave sort of the weakest gear on. So currently the wrist is, is weaker than the leather wrist. Leave the weakest gear on and then upgrade it to better gear once I've completely learned that ability. With the leather shirt, he's learning Protect Girls. I do have a silk shirt, but it doesn't teach him anything, so I won't equip it just yet. Now, add-ons, these ones down at the bottom, are pretty special because they don't... For the beginning of the game, they don't actually provide any stat increases. But um, they do... They are able to be shared between everyone. That does change a little bit later on because some of them, like the like um, rings, like rings that would go on your finger, they, um, they do provide some good stat increases. But uh, generally speaking, and some of them can't be shared, but generally speaking, they all are. Um, this teaches Shell and Beast Killer, and Zidane can learn Beast Killer from it. But I'll hold off on that for now until I've reviewed everything. So all I've really got to think about is the wrist and the ring, okay? So I'll go over to Vivi. Vivi, learning fire from the Mage Staff, that's it. I've got no, no other stars for him. Leather hats, I've got no other hats for him. It's also nice to note that because both of these things teach Vivi fire... He will learn the ability twice as fast. If, if I were to defeat three enemies and get three AP, he would get three AP onto fire from this and three AP onto fire for this for a total of six AP. So that's pretty, pretty good. Um, at the moment, he's got a wrist equipped, uh, which isn't teaching him anything. But if I were to equip the leather wrist, he would start learning Blizzard. 
Now, that immediately means I'm going to equip that because the other wrist is useless for him to have. Um, as soon as he learns Blizzard, which will take 25 AP, I can consider switching switching it to Zidane so he can learn his ability, but we'll keep that on him for now. Right now, the leather shirt is useless on him. However, the silk shirt will teach him Thunder, so we'll equip that. I know in my mind that he can keep that silk shirt on because Zidane didn't learn anything from the silk shirt, and Steiner, because he's a knight sort of class, wears armor, not shirt, so that's not something he's concerned about. For the add-on, the accessory, um, he can't learn anything from that, so I'll keep that to one side for now. I know, and I know this is this is sort of Vivi's um, kit for now on. All I need to change now is to get rid of the wrist once he's learned Blizzard. Um, now we've got Steiner, and he's a, he's a got a few interesting pieces of gear to equip. So he's got a broadsword. He's also got as an option an iron sword, which is significantly better and teaches him minor strike. However. He learns Beast Killer from this, and that takes a lot of AP. It takes 55 AP for him to learn that. Um, so I sort of know oh, I'm going to have to keep that on until he learns it. Okay. In a similar vein, Bronze Helm teaches him Bug Killer, um, which is 50 AP. But if I were to get the Rubber Helm, this would teach him Minus Strike. And this is sort of like, oh, so I, I you know, I don't need to equip the Iron Sword to learn Minus Strike. I can equip the Rubber Helm. But that's probably not something I'll be doing. Um, the, it's it's worse, and I can just learn it from the better weapon. Um, I need to keep the bronze helm on for now, so he can <clears throat> he can learn bug killer as soon as possible because it's a hefty ability. It takes 50 AP to to learn. Um, on his wrist, there's only one thing he can equip: antibody. So I a bronze gloves which teaches him antibody. So I will. I think it's the same here. Yeah, the only armor I have is bronze armor. That teaches him bird killer, so I'll keep him on that. Now, what I'm going to do here, because I know he can learn beast killer off this moonstone, is I'm going to give him the moonstone. Because now, he's going to learn it twice as fast. So instead of taking 55 AP, it's effectively going to take, what, 25... About 28 AP instead of 55, which is a significant sort of... Um, significant speed up. It's twice as fast. Um... And then when he's learnt that, I can just de-equip him and pop it on Zidane, and then he'll learn Beast Killer from it. Um, so that's the plan there. In, and in terms of what abilities they've got equipped, I think at the mo this moment in time, I've probably got enough these these things here. They're called Magic Stones. I think I've got enough Magic Stones to equip everything. However, typically I don't want to. Um, I will equip Flea Gill, just in case I ever need to flee from a fight. And I will get some gear as a reward. Protect Girls, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I don't think Zidane has that good of a, a defense. So, uh, And I don't have any girls in the party at the moment. So I won't be, won't be using that. And I won't be using him to tank for the girls. Um... Steiner, what's he got? So I'll just equip. So bird, so things like bird killer. What they do is they, uh, you deal like 20% more damage to flying enemies. Same with bug killer, deal more damage to bugs. Beast killer, very good because a lot of things classify themselves as beasts. Antibody makes him immune to poison and venom, so might as well equip that. And then Vivi, I don't think he has anything to equip um, because all of his abilities are used because he's more of a black mage type, so he's just got usable abilities. But I'll, I'll constantly review that as I go forward. So there we go. With that in mind, I'm going to hobble on over. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is run up and down here until I find an enemy. Um, and then just keep on battling them. The one thing I did forget to mention, however, is the order of the party. The up and down order doesn't really matter. Although if you double select someone, you see they shift slightly to the left or the right. This just determines whether they're on the front line, like Zidane and Steiner are here, or whether they're on the back line of the party, like Vivi. Um, all that means is that if you're on the front line of the party, um, you take more physical damage from physical attacks, but you also deal more physical damage. Whereas Vivi, he's got slightly lower physical defense. Um, he can just stay at the back and only do magic. Now, uh, this is the first time we've seen Vivi and um, Steiner in a party together, so it's a pretty cool thing we can do. Um, I'm not sure how to change... There we are. So we'll switch to Steiner, and suddenly he's got an option for sword magic. So we'll just use that and see what happens, eh? Because when they're in a party together, Steiner can kick some serious butt. He can combine his physical and magical power together and kick ass. 
So what we'll see here, we actually get two AP for that because it was a bigger monster. And we get a tiny bit of experience. And they level up. We all level up. Get a little bit of gill. So yeah, you end up accumulating a whole bunch of gill and a whole bunch of... Um, what's it called? Uh, levels and stuff. But you don't really have to think about the levels. You can just keep in mind those definite goals of um, abilities. And then you're good to go. With um, Zidane... I'm mostly, mostly going to be stealing. Oh, he's dead. Uh, I'm mostly going to just be stealing with him because he is the only character that can steal and he is one of the few characters that um, has an ability much later in the game that is based off, uh, that can deal um, the damage limit, 9999 um, in one hit and he can deal it Consistently, so it's 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 worked out on like how many items you've stolen multiplied by your level. So it's best to steal as many items as possible throughout the game. And you even get stuff like that. That was a tent. That's pretty good. Um, they normally cost like 800 gil. So um, you'll also notice that Vivi has got like this weird black cloud on his face. It's because he got hit with an attack earlier. Um, He's, so it's, and he'll also, you see the status effect is here, little sunglasses. Um, level up. All that means is he's blinded, so the majority, the vast majority of his physical attacks are going to miss. Yeah, so the only other annoying thing, because because what happens when your, your health gets sort of low like that, like Vivi's here is... Um, now low, it's 12 out of 91 because you got hit a few times. You can just, the nice thing is you can just run back here and it restores your HP and MP. The problem is it doesn't get rid of stats effects, so you notice that they've, they've all got like the little sunglasses on. Kind of annoying, but um, it doesn't matter for Vivi so much because he's not going to be doing physical attacks and it doesn't matter for Zidane because he's going to be stealing, which don't count as physical attacks. However, I do want to clear that off Steiner, so I'll use an eye drops on him. And you can sort of find out what they all do just by looking at the help over there. But, um, elixirs, the fabled, uh, fabled, um, item that you save for the end of the game and never use. <laughs> um, but like I say, it's just that it, sometimes you find in Final Fantasy games you get to a, a, a part in the game and it is just a grind. But fortunately that's, that's not the case. Um, if you just focus on learning all the abilities. Um, the only problem that normally occurs is that um, sometimes you actually end up over leveled to things and things are easier than they should be, which is actually kind of an advantage because, well obviously it's an advantage, but um, it's pretty good when you're trying to steal everything because you can quite casually sort of make the game go for as long as possible and you don't, you know, you don't really care. Ooh, level up. Because, you know, you're, you're all like five levels too big and just tanking everything that comes at you. Um, what else is there? Um, I know Vivi knows a bunch of different abilities at the moment, but fire is obviously the most effective against all these plants. Oh, and we finally don't have a plant. Um, little fangs here. Um, I don't think anything's specifically effective against them. So I'll just blizzard them. So you can see what it looks like. It looks a bit different. Get steel in before you attack. Bonk. They're, just, they're pretty weak enemies. Bonk. Most people don't sort of take the time here to, to grind a few levels out. But I know that there is a boss coming up. And it kind of really sucks to go up against the boss when you're all level one. It really sucks. Um, so, might as well take the time when there's a free health point to sort of do a bit of grinding. Um, I'll also talk about... Hooray, we're not getting... Oh, so, not hooray, we've been back attacked. So, sometimes you get back attacked, um, which um, can be an issue. Effectively, what that does is it reverses where the parties are standing so now, um, 
Vivi is... Oh, I'll show you Thunder as well. So now Vivi is on the front line, and Steiner and Zidane are on the back line. So now all of Steiner's and um, Zidane's physical attacks do... Wow. Do less damage, and Vivi takes more physical damage because he's on the front line. That's why getting back attacked can be a bit of a pain. Oh, yeah, and... and Obviously, he's a danger with a blind stats effect, so he misses most of his physical attacks anyway. But yeah, sometimes you can get back attacked like that, um, which sucks. Ah, you'll notice there, Vivi learnt fire. So basically, we can go into the menu and check. Um, could be here, and you know, the little stars mean yes, he knows it to maximum effect. However, we've got nothing to replace these things with, so we'll keep them equipped as they are for now. Um, as well as getting back attacked, you can get preemptive striked, which basically means you you get the back attack on the enemy, so they are all buggered, <laughs> and um, you get to kill them really easily because they will take like a ton of damage. Ooh. So the difference here, sword magic as well, sword magic, a bunch of different magical abilities only work when Vivi's in the party. Sword art, are very special abilities that are. Um, only Steiner can do, um, but you don't learn any decent sword art abilities for ages, but he can do things like lower the enemy's attack, do damage based on the difference between his health and his max health, it's kind of weird, but there's a bunch of cool stuff in there, um, but he doesn't learn anything decent for quite a while. Um, I know... Um, there's a bunch of abilities. I know I've talked about it a little bit, but there's the ability um, that Zidane can learn eventually, which does a hell of a lot of damage if I steal a lot, because it's based on like a flat formula. It's based on his level multiplied by the amount of things that he's stolen. Um, there are others, others like that in the game, um, and I'll point them out as we go along, but basically there's... One of them is, is Steiner's. He learns an ability which basically sort of... He already does, late game, he does a lot of physical damage, and this ability basically triples his physical damage and then deals it, like, one fat blow to the enemy. Ah, <sighs> and you see, because fangs suck, they only get one AP from both of them, which is why I hate them. That's why I prefer the bigger enemies. Bigger enemies can blind you, but it's not really that much of a hassle. I've got a ton of eye drops. Um... Mm. So, I'll talk... A little bit about what I hope to achieve during this playthrough, generally speaking. Um, my objective is going to be um, doing two. Well, my objective is going to be, and it is. <laughs> um, oh, I've got pollen. That blinds everyone. That sucks. Um, is going to be to get every Steam achievement for the game. I don't think I don't think getting every Steam achievement necessarily encompasses all there is to experience in the Final Fantasy universe, but uh, a Final Fantasy IX universe. But that's what my objective is going to be. Um, let me just remove that status effect from Steiner. Um, there we go. So what I'm mainly going to be doing is you can view the list of achievements anywhere, but there's a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, that's a little bit of a pain to do. Most of it is like typical stuff that you think like get the best weapons in the game, unlock all the, uh, go to every location, stuff like that. But, um, bam, dead. Um, there's some like weird stuff that I need to do a little bit later on, which could be a hassle. Um, for example, there's, a, there's an event later on in the game called Festival of the Hunt. Um, and typically I want a specific person to win the Festival of the Hunt. And Vivi can win the Festival of the Hunt. No one ever does it because you get an awful, awful reward. But um, he can, and that is an achievement. So that is something I'm going to have to do and then reload my save after that's earned. But um, I might put that in like a mini a mini episode as well. Well, it's, they're not really mini episodes because this is like a mini episode. So it doesn't count as a full episode. So I see there that Stein has used up all of his, all of his um, MP, his magic points. So we're going to go back and get a refill, get a top up. Ah, see, so Stein there just learnt Bird Killer as well. 
So, if we go to Steinaru, where did he learn bird killer from? His bronze armor, which sucks because there's nothing we can do. But we're already at 47 for beast killer, which is pretty incredible. But yeah, there's uh, nothing more we can replace that bronze armor with. So, why it's good that he's learnt it, it's not that great because it doesn't matter. <laughs> which is kind of harsh, but, you know, he would have learnt it anyway, I'm sure. So, it shouldn't actually take too long to learn everything um, that you need to because what you have to take into account is that we've got a boss coming up um, which gives you a hell of a lot of AP anyway um, and we have um, there's a little while before we get some more decent items so actually it doesn't matter too much uh, wind it doesn't matter too much about um, oh we did 16 damage I think I'm okay with that doesn't matter too much about learning everything to the max. We just need to learn everything to, up to a certain point. Because what I want to prevent is having, for example, something like something like Bird Killer being at like 29 out of 30, um, and then going and doing the boss and getting like 10 AP, and it's wasted in that ability. And then I re-equip something over it that could, really could have used that 10 AP. You know, it's worth leveling up everything as much as you can. Um, while well, you've got the opportunity to do so. One other thing I will say as well is that when you've used up the weapon, you know, so say say that dagger that Zidane had, um, strictly useless now, why don't I get rid of it? You would say because... Why don't I just get rid of it? Because Sell it because it's, you know, it, it is strictly, strictly useless. Well... I'm not going to get rid of it because there's a thing in the game called Synthesis um, where instead of just purchasing your weapons or stealing your weapons from, um, stealing your weapons from monsters or purchasing them from shops oh, Blizzard and Beast Killer and Thunder we'll go to the menu for that um, instead of just purchasing your items from shops you can actually combine old weapons together to create brand new weapons that you can't get anywhere else which is pretty good so we've learnt Beast Killer. Stein has learnt Beast Killer. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of that Moonstone. And the thing that taught him Beast Killer that, we're going to equip the Iron Sword. Does more damage and teaches him Minus Strike. Um, what else? I think, and, and now we can regard Steiner as done. So there's nothing more we need to do for him because he has no other armor to equip. We have no other gloves to equip. We don't want to equip that helm because even though it teaches minus strike faster because two things will have it, we want to learn bug killer because it's a big 50 ability. And that's it. You know, there's nothing else to teach him because we've got no other gloves either. Yeah. Um, Vivi learned a bunch of stuff and I don't think there's anything else we can do for him. He doesn't learn anything off the moonstone. Um, he doesn't learn anything off that. I will get rid of that wrist because I need that leather wrist. It's the only one I've got. Now he knows the blizzard. But Vivi is completely done. There's nothing more for him to learn at the moment. Zidane almost learnt protect girls. Um, what I will do is wrist. So yeah, at the moment he's learning flea gill from that. When that's fully learnt, I can equip that on him and he'll start learning beast killer. But... I can equip the Moonstone, and you can start learning Beast Killer right away. So that's pretty good as well. Effectively, effectively, we're just waiting on a bunch of big abilities to come through. But a few more, few more enemies, and we should be should be right as rain to go ahead and fight the boss. Because you also don't want to waste the AP that comes from the boss. Um, and you've got to keep that in mind. And also. Uh, uh, when you get more members of your party, so in a bit we're going to get a fourth member of our party, <clears throat> the princess, Scarlet, she's missing out on... Oh, we've got goblins. Hello. Um, she's missing out on all of this. She's not getting any of this XP. Oh, and also, what was the button for... Can anyone, uh, there we go. So Vivi can... Because they're weak enemies, I think we might be okay here. We might kill them both. Any joy? Yep. Overpowered pretty good. What was I talking about? Yeah, when you get the fourth member of the party, she's missing out on all of this, so it kind of kind of sucks about her because she's not getting the levels and she's not getting the abilities. And you want the ability to 
say, oh, all the characters have now used, used the leather wrist, for example. We don't need it. You can have it and learn now, rather than being like, oh, crap, I've got to, like, organise, like, who's going to have what when, and uh, shuffle around on my abilities. It's just a lot simpler to get it all out of the way as soon as possible. Um... Da, 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 do, 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 do. See, and I much prefer the big enemy there because it gives you two AP. Sometimes you get eye drops from it as well, which is useful because that's the stats effect that's uh, been equipped. Um, well, but like I said, we're almost good to go. Um, I roughly, well. Here's, here's one other thing that we have to also generally take into account. What was it? There we go. Is that um, there are going to be items that we're going to pick up from the boss. So there's a bunch of stuff you can steal from the boss. So it's pretty useful to say, be like, oh, oh, you know, get these old items out of the way now, even though they're, you know, completely learned and some of the AP from the boss is going to go to waste. Or then I'm then just able to immediately switch over to the upgraded gear because I don't need to worry about these old abilities not being learned because that was a, that was a big mistake I sort of made when I first played through the game I would see a piece of gear and I'd be like oh my god it's so much better than my current gear it does more damage it, you know it gives me more defense oh, bugger back attack and um, it would it would mean that I didn't learn any abilities <laughs> it would be as simple as that I just wouldn't learn abilities because I'd, I'd sort of there'd be a really good ability that would um, take, like, I don't know, 40 AP to learn, and then I'd find something better after I killed 30 enemies, and then I would never learn that ability, and then the game would move on, and it'd be like, oh, and then it would become a grind, um, but then also I'd sell my old items, or synthesize my items together, so I'd just lose out, and there we go, protect girls. I also noticed that Steiner was a bit low on the old MP. I think Protect Girls is that leather shirt, yeah. It's fine, there's nothing else for that. I know Vivi has a silk shirt, but Zidane can't learn Cure or Thunder, so that's fine. We'll go pick up some more MP for Steiner at the fountain. HP and MP restored. Then we'll carry on. Just a few more enemies and we'll be good to go, I believe. The main one is Steiner's Bug Killer, because that was the heftiest one that required the most MP, I believe. Or was it? Because you sort of have to regard it as... Steiner's Helm required 50 MP to learn Bug Killer, but... Maybe, like, having two different wrists is actually more, you know? Probably is. Hmm. Oh, a whopping 16 damage again. I'm overwhelmed. Oh, also, um, even though he's blind, Steiner has got blind effects with him. That counts as a magic attack, so he cannot miss. See how it did 440 damage, up from like 260? That's the difference that sword makes, you know? It's that much better. You'll also notice that um, I'm not really getting a lot of levels. Like I said, it's not about the levels, it's just about the abilities. Just sit back, relax, and... Do the abilities. God, we'll find a hell of a lot of these. Ah, you'll also notice that there's a uh, wind again. Free item, thank you. There's also not a lot of variance what you do at the moment. Generally, there isn't when you grind. Um, I'm trying to think when the next spot is. Oh, I know when the next spot is. Um, it comes up um, and you get introduced to a very special type of monster. I'll save that for, for later, but... Oh, detect antibody, flee. Okay, a bunch of stuff just got learned by Steiner and Zidane. Detect and flee both come off of his main weapon, so he doesn't need to worry about that anymore. Um... That's fine, and then Steiner just learnt something. I've already forgot what it was. Antibody, but again, nothing you can unequip. Do I equip that's different there? Um, what are we waiting on? What am I waiting on? Oh, I'm waiting on his, his wrist to finish. Oh, his wrist to finish, aren't I? So I can double up on the beast killer. Yeah. 
So yeah, we're almost there. Um, but yeah, there's a there are some there's the next grinding point we come to. There's going to be a very special enemy. I can show you. <laughs> it's uh, pretty pretty overpowered when it comes to grinding. You'll also notice that my trance gorges. No, if you can see it, but it's underneath my um underneath the HP the green HP gorges on the right. There's a red HP. There's like a red gorge that's growing and growing as I take damage. That's trance. I find it kind of annoying that you can't save Trance in Final Fantasy IX. Um, you can't, I think in Final Fantasy X, you had Overdrive and you could save it. You could go into Overdrive mode ooh, ding, um, when you, whenever you wanted. You just had to um, you know, get to that stage and then you chose to activate it or not. Um, in Final Fantasy IX, I often find that Trance is fairly useless. Um, it normally activates against literally the most useless things um, and it's normally when you're grinding which is kind of underwhelming um, in all honesty but it's not a lot you can do about it most of the time steal that kill that uh, the reason why I'm doing this particular set of moves as well so the reason why I steal sword magic is because it's the most efficient way of killing things um, that monster has so much health that you wouldn't be able to kill it with any other attack in one go, apart from Steiner's attack. It would take, like, a Vivi's fire plus a Zidane's normal attack or a Steiner's normal attack to kill it. Um, which is, you know, it's not as efficient as using that one attack. Back attacked again! Come on! My speed must be low. But um, what I can do for... What was I, where was I even going with this? <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, you don't need to use eye drops to steal. So like, the only person who needs to be sort of eye dropped is Steiner. And you don't even need to necessarily because you can just use the sword magic. And when there's more than one, you can just do that. Just pleb them. Absolutely ruin them. Do, 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 do. So Flea Gill, learnt by Zidane, pretty good. Let's see what he's got here. So Flea Gill was on that. If I quit this Leather Wrist, learn Beast Killer. What have I got left to learn? For Zidane it is just Beast Killer, and now I'm gonna learn it twice as fast. For Vivi it's nothing, you've learned everything. And for you, you've gotta learn Minor Strike. How am I gonna do this? Minor strikes. I don't think minor strikes are the big issue actually, because I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain that iron sword stays with us for quite a while. Mm, I'm not sure though if it does actually. Mm, I'm not happy about that because the thing is, the next I, I want to learn it. So if I pick up a better sword quickly, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Uh, oof. I don't know. I don't know. It's literally just just that minor strike. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do, because minor strike comes off of that. I will learn bug killer. I will equip the rubber helm, and I will call it a day. Because then, getting double ability points on the minor strike is gonna learn it so quickly that it won't matter if I pick up a new weapon immediately. Plus, I always have. Minor strike on the rubber helm, so I can unequip the sword if need be. I thought I'd be back attacked again then. Uh, do a cheap attack. And it's a miss. This is why you cure your status effects. Ah. Do, 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 do. Oh, so what are we getting? Is there anything else on these screens? Echo screen, echo screen, oh that cue is silence. So yeah, like there's a bunch of useful items that I'm picking up now as well that will come in handy a little bit later on, I, I guess, generally speaking. Um, oh, but all I have to do is learn that bug killer and then I'm good to go, good to go. And it, and it honestly, it really is like, this is one of the only chances I'll have of learning it. 
Oh, I don't think I have enough MP to... I don't, that sucks. So, miss, brilliant. Um, this is one of the only chances I'll have to learn these abilities, because that, that, like, item that teaches, you know, nice, that teaches Bug Killer is just, like, the only item that teaches Bug Killer. Nothing else will teach it. God, he's so close to trancing. Oh, no, don't do that. Um, like, you can go through the rest of the game, and every item will teach you a different ability. And none of them will be Bug Killer, apart from that one item. So you do need to learn it now, while you have the chance. Um, that was a bit of a pain. I am almost there. Can't be bothered to go back. Oh no, I can tell you what I will. Um, have a sippy. And then do another little jog. I think we are very, very close. I know I've said it like multiple times, like we are so close, and then it's been like 20 minutes, but it's fine, I guess. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, annoyingly as well, when I go and go too further up the path to fight the boss, I'm gonna have to fight random encounters as I go, so that should be fun. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna trance Steiner. Oh my god, it's tranced both of them. Holy hell. You're not even going to get to see their trances properly. Wow, what a waste. What a waste. So, what happens when Zidane trances, we already saw it, he gets a whole new bunch of skills that do a hell of a lot of damage. Um, Zidane's trances are, are strange. He has like eight or ten different trances. This do so much damage. Oh, didn't even do that much damage. Yeah, Zidane's trances. Uh, weird. If you, because what? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> because uh, what trance you get is based on what weapon you have equipped. If you have like the what the first weapon in the game, the dagger, you only have one trance. If you have the second dagger, you get, you get like two trances. You get both options. If you have like etc. 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 Until you reach like I'm back attacked again. Are you kidding me? It, and it keeps going like that again and again and again until. Um, you get to a certain level of weapon and then you have everything unlocked for his trances. Um, Steiner's trance literally just doubles or triples or something like that his physical attack, so he just ends up doing tons of physical damage, absolutely tons. Like his normal attacks later on in the game will deal like the damage limit, he'll be that good. Um, and when Vivi goes into trance, um, it doesn't happen often because he doesn't don't like him taking a lot of damage. There we go, bug killer, hooray! When Vivi goes into trance, he gets double black, which allows him to cast two black magic spells in one turn, which is pretty good. Right, that's that healed. What, I will just use some eye drops, got a whole bunch of them, so I'll heal all of them for the sake of neatness. And then if we go to Steiner, he's learnt bug killer finally. I'll pop that on him. I know it's slightly worse than the bronze helm, but he's gonna learn minor strike from it too sweet. If we think, ahead if we think the boss will give us 10 AP so he doesn't have anything else to learn apart from minor strike so that 10 AP will double to 20 so he will learn that Vivi has learned everything and Zidane is literally one AP off of level well, half an AP because they're both beast killer so yeah that's fine I can carry on like that and be golden um, you'll notice I've got a few more ability stones let's see if there's anything more I can equip don't put a bunch of beast killer Anybody? No. Um, you'll also notice that... Uh, where is it? Let's see if I can bring it up on any of these. Yeah. So, like, see how this one up here in the top right, it tells you that the armour is teaching me it, but I fully learnt it. This one, because I fully learnt it, it will just stay there. It won't tell me what taught me, and that's sort of ingrained fully into him. Uh, what does Minus Stroke do? Difference between Max and Current HP. Eh, that's fairly marginal. Anyway. I've just boosted them all up as well from level 1 to level 6, so that should be fairly manageable as well. Um, I'm going to save my game now, and I'm going to move on to the uh, the boss of the Evil Forest. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed this sort of... It's not really a mini episode, but it's not a proper episode because I haven't moved on anywhere. So I think it'll be like a, a 0.5 episode. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, um, 
uh, give me a like um, and if you've got any feedback to give me feel free to drop a comment on the video and um, if you like the content that I'm producing then feel free to subscribe to be regularly updated that is what the three functions are there for but uh, thanks for your time and I'll see you guys next time thanks bye